Welcome to Real Fishing 3, the walkthrough for the PlayStation 2. This is a game from 2003. Of course, for the PlayStation 2, a little bit souped up more uh, graphic power from the first Real Fishing 1 and Real Fishing 2. I should note right off the bat, uh, I do have complete walkthrough series of Real Fishing and Real Fishing 2 on this channel as well. Do check the uh, description box below for a link to those playlists. I also have a series called Real Fishing Relaxation where I have 10 minutes of each level with the background sound effects and the music playing because I find them to be quite nice for kicking back, uh, working, and they make a nice background similar to a uh, old-fashioned Yule Log video uh, which you may find enjoyable if you'd like that. We are looking at some of the opening CGI cutscenes for this game. This is a common theme with this series of the Aqua Room or the Aqua Lodge, the Aqua Center, uh, really your base of operations. This ends up just being kind of the menu system of the game. Um, all of all of the games have a similar system to this, though. They have some kind of Aqua Center, and they all have nice uh, little animations like this that you turn on and you come through. Sometimes they have a narration. This one uses a lot of letters, so they use a lot of text um, text narration, I guess, to give you exposition about where you are in the story, tips in the game. The first real fishing had a lot more voice recording from the uh, the fishing master or the, uh, the 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 mentor angler. You never actually see him. You hear his voice as you look at his photograph. So we're coming up to again as a standard for this game. Uh, we're going to learn about the game. A message on the desk. And this is the Aqua Lodge your center of operations. It's never clear uh, <laughs> how you get from the Aqua Lodge to all of your fishing places. It's interesting that you have a center of your your existence in this building, uh, but then you go to the far, far reaches. In Real Fishing 2, you go uh, to the mountains of Japan, you go deep sea marlin fishing, you go down to uh, the, the Indian Ocean to fish for the coelacanth at the very end, uh, and then of course the bonus level in Panda Lake. Here we're about to meet our companion, and uh, the name you give this dog, as far as I've seen in this game so far, basically is your file name. Because uh, as you as you save the game, the name you give the dog, the default name here is Junior. Uh, and the name you assign there is when you open up your file, that's what you give. So I guess your character doesn't really get a name. So this game does have seasonality, like the other, uh, at least Real Fishing 2 has some seasonality, so different levels are available at different times of year, and of course different fish will bite at different times of year. I should say, in this video, we are, we are just going to be going through the tutorials of this game if you want to just see what they look like. Uh, the letter r arrives for you every morning, whenever you are getting started with a new day. Uh, the dog will always bring you this letter. Uh, the letter will give you some fishing tips and an update about what your progress is in the game. If you've unlocked a new stage, it will let you know that you've unlocked a new stage. It'll tell you a little bit about it, and it will also uh, hint at, so far I've seen it'll hint at, uh, your requirement to go to the next one. So we are going to go to the first fishing hole. The, the fishing journal or the fishing notebook is always your menu system in real fishing. That's another common thing from this series. Uh, your, your journal, your log, becomes uh, where you select your level and you keep track of all the uh, fishes that you've caught. So we're heading to the pier. First level, uh, very easy. There's an old boat off to the right side that's kind of half submerged in the water. Um, I don't know if we'll see it actually in this one, but you may watch the level one playthrough video. So here's the around 10 fish that will that gives you a hint that you need to catch exactly 10 fish to advance to the next level to unlock the next stage that you can visit. Uh, you can in this game uh, have a limited range of motion. You can kind of walk back and forth. You can also turn. There's that boat, by the way. Uh, this very first thing, in case it's not clear, because <laughs> the uh, another theme in this game is the text is not very well localized. Uh, what they're needing what they need you to do here in this tutorial is to just make a cast or two. They, they're looking to just have you practice casting. So push that square button after you just make one cast, and it'll tell you you're, you're warmed up. You may be able to do it without actually making a cast, but uh, it took me a little bit the first time to figure out that I wasn't actually fishing. There wasn't any bait on my hook. I was just supposed to be practicing casting. So now we're going to actually practice bringing in a fish. Uh, again, true to the tradition of this game, the di directions are not localized very well for fighting fish, so I'll try to walk you through it as best I can with my voice here when we go to the different species. So when you get a bite, if you have the vibration turned on on your controller, you'll get the vibrating uh, 
the prompt. I haven't seen the workaround for that. There is, a, I think, a, an audio cue you can listen to, but uh, I just go by the vibration prompt on the controller. So you set the hook. Uh, I guess this has a hook set strength meter. Um, it's an invisible counter, but you want to try to make sure that you maintain the hook set. You can do that by keeping tension on the fish. It does have an audible line tension uh, gauge, so you can hear the line go dee, 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 dee. You start starts to make a kind of high pitch clinking sound, um, and that's a pretty common theme. Actually, even going back to the NES days of fishing games, it's funny they have not found a better way uh, by 2003 here at least to indicate to you that the line strength is getting lower, that your line is about to break. So even going back to the blue marlin and the black bass on NES, that was how they told you that uh, your line was about to break with a high-pitched clinking sound. And if anyone's been fishing with monofilament line, uh, you can see where they got that sound because line, as, it, as it's just about to break, it does make kind of a high-pitched uh, singing sound. It's not like clink, 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 clink. Um, but it does make a high-pitched vibration that uh, the human ear can pick up. So I can see where the designers of these games are going. Uh, when you first set the hook, you want to use your, if you've got the analog stick turned on, use your left analog stick and push down. That pulls your rod back. That will maintain tension and will keep your hook set strong. If the fish is too big and the line starts to struggle, um, you'll hear the clink, the clink, clink, clink sound. And you'll need to go either neutral on that stick or up on that stick. Going up on that stick will let the fish get off the hook pretty quickly. Um, the hook set is not maintained. Just like in real life, if you give the fish a uh, slack line, uh, they will throw that hook pretty easily. So that's a nice uh, realistic touch they put in there. The fish will have slack line and they're, they're able to throw the hook a lot easier. So when the fish is uh, struggling, you just keep the tension on by pushing down. Uh, don't reel in during that time. And then when the fish stops, you'll see some little bubbles come up. That's kind of an indication that like all right, the fish is finished with its kick now with trying to throw the hook. You can reel a little bit with when you see those bubbles. So we'll talk more about that as we start reeling in fish. Uh, this game, as far as I've seen so far, does force you to go to the basement and look at the tanks. Uh, a feature of the whole real fishing series so far is the keeping and maintaining of fish in tanks. That's not something that's ever appealed to me about this series. Um, so we're not going to talk much about it here because it's not something that I'm really interested in, in getting into. Um, but it does force you to at least look at this for the tutorial. And every day you do have to come down here to the tank room in order to... Uh, to go back up. So if you put a fish in the live well, you bring them back, you get to decide where they go. You have a couple different tanks for the different kinds of fish. I don't see a saltwater tank here yet, so I don't know if we're going to be doing any saltwater fishing in this game. Uh, sometimes you'll have a like a pond, you'll have a stream, and then you'll have a saltwater tank. Uh, I think in real fishing too. Um, so you can view the tank, and this is where the fish you put in there, you can feed them by dropping a little... Uh, dropping a little nugget of food in there. There's a couple different other things you can do. It's mostly just looking, though. But I imagine um, some players would want to put some fish in here, turn the tank on, and just kind of use it as a background. Put it in a pretty novel thing back in the late 90s, early 2000s, maybe. Um, but then that's how you get to uh, end this, is you have to go up to the light and click Tomorrow is Another Day, and you do get to reload. And it takes you to the next morning. Here comes the dog. Every morning that you want to get started, the dog will bring in a letter. And it is a note from, we're not sure who. I don't know if it is the uh, the fishing master uh, or who this is for. The fishing master is the one who uh, is supposed to be the, uh, the, the owner of the Aqua Lodge in the other games, at least the first one. So now we're going to select fishing hole and head out to the pier. But that's going to wrap it up for this tutorial video because we're going to head on out. So I will see you in the next video as we catch some fish here at the pier and try to advance to the next level.